Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us praise the Lord in whom is all our delight. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness when at Mirabah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us praise the Lord in whom is all our delight. We turn to you, O God of every nation, giver of life and origin of good. Your love is at the heart of all creation. Your hurt is people's broken brotherhood. We turn to you that we may be forgiven for crucifying Christ on earth again. We know that we have never wholly striven, forgetting self to love the other man. Free every heart from pride and self-reliance, our ways of thought inspire with simple grace. Bring down among us barriers of defiance. Speak to the soul of all the human race. Teach us, good Lord, to serve the need of others. Help us to give and not to count the cost. Unite us all, for we are born as brothers. Defeat our Babel with your Pentecost. A humble, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly, I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight? I have done. That you may be justified when you do give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, touch me, teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O oh God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor, sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart, you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offer on your altar. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. 
Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit and heal our troubled conscience so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit we may proclaim your praise and your glory before all the nations. A humble, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. Even in your anger, Lord, you will remember compassion. O Lord, I have heard your renown and feared, O Lord, your work. In the course of the years, revive it. In the course of the years, make it known. In your wrath, remember compassion. God comes from Teman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. Covered are the heavens with his glory, and with his praise the earth is filled. His splendor spreads like the light. Rays shine forth from beside him, where his power is concealed. You come forth to save your people, to save your anointed one. You tread the sea with your steeds amid the churning of the deep waters. I hear, and my body trembles. At the sound, my lips quiver. Decay invades my bones. My legs tremble beneath me. I await the day of distress that will come upon the people who attack us. For though the fig tree blossom not, nor fruit be on the vines, though the yield of the olive fail, and the terraces produce no nourishment, Though the flocks disappear from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet will I rejoice in the Lord, and exult in my saving God. God, my God, is my strength. He makes my feet swift as those of hinds, and enables me to go upon the heights. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Even in your anger, Lord, you will remember compassion. Oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth the word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you established peace within the borders of Jerusalem. Give the fullness of peace now to your faithful people. May peace rule us in this life and possess us in eternal life. You are about to fill us with the best of wheat. Grant that what we see dimly now is in a mirror we may come to perceive clearly in the brightness of your truth. Oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. A reading from Ephesians chapter 2. Now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near through the blood of Christ. It is he who is our peace, and who made the two of us one by breaking down the barrier of hostility that kept us apart. In his own flesh, he abolished the law with its commands and precepts to create in himself one new man from us, who had been two, and to make peace, reconciling both of us to God in one body through his cross, which put that enmity to death. The Lord the Most High has done good things for me. In need I shall cry out to him. The Lord the Most High has done good things for me. In need I shall cry out to him. May he send his strength to rescue me. In need I shall cry out to him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord the Most High has done good things for me. In need I shall cry out to him. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, 
He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and holy and righteous in his sights all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Let us adore Christ, who offered himself to the Father through the Holy Spirit, to cleanse us from the works of death. Let us adore him and call upon him with sincere hearts. In your will is our peace, Lord. From your generosity we have received the beginning of this day. Grant us also the beginning of new life. You created all things, and now you provide for their growth. May we always perceive your handiwork in creation. With your own blood you ratified the new and eternal covenant. May we remain faithful to that covenant by following your precepts. On the cross, blood and water flowed from your side. May this saving stream wash away our sin and gladden the city of God. Now let us offer the prayer Christ has given us as the model of all prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. All powerful Father, as now we bring you our songs of praise, so may we sing your goodness in the company of your saints forever. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your Spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.